this I don't I never looked I didn't look up at any videos on how to take it apart. I just use my noggin and my ability to sniffle. And I, I can't stand it when people do that, so I'm sorry I did that. But uh, I consider myself a modder. I like to mod things. I'm not a moderator. I just like to mod things. So these are the parts that I took out. No longer necessary. This is where I store my hard drives. Look, this is my desk. So I'm going to walk you through my desk. These are external hard drives that I've been using. I have a one terabyte, a two terabyte, and a five terabyte, and then another two terabyte. This is actually probably the drive that I would use. So right now I have a, a two terabyte in there. I upgraded, but this is my personal setup like this or with the five terabyte. And I took that out of the casing. These have cases. I just, I don't like this bulk. I don't like this. And why do I have to be married to this proprietary cable system? I'd rather just pick something different. All right, here we go. So just took off the top. Excuse me. Sniffles again. Now, here's the thing. So this is my copper coin. I want to do... I was considering doing like my own heat sink. It's a little warm. I had to take this off this plate. I'm sorry, I'm sniffling again. These parts... This, this plate, I just had to rotate and then it snapped right there. But what I'm saying is all of that had to be taken off in order to clean, in order to just clean. Damn it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm sniffling. And then I broke one screw right here, that screw that holds right there, but everything else is functional. So you take this back plate off. I took that screw off because I love that screw I'm using on my other computer. Just pop this side, pop the other side, boom. So you can take that back panel off and this is, you're left with the goodies, the goodies, my goodies. And this is what I cleaned. Now I'm probably gonna take it further apart because I personally okay i'm gonna tell you my hopes and my dreams i love messing with stuff and i know everybody has migrated to like a ps5 but i would love to make like a a passive heat sink out of copper that doesn't require fans i just love i love electronic devices that have really cool cooling methods sorry no pun intended without fans because fans are annoying to me so if someone asks me what am i doing i am taking old things that I love and appreciate because my next console probably will be a PS5 Slim. Um, but my point is I'm going to mod the shit out of this or I, at least, okay, I have to get breakfast, but um, I'd like to make a cool copper heat sink that, require, that allows a PS5, PS4 Slim to be run with no fan. That's my goal. Because, you know, I was into water cooling about 20 years ago, probably 01 and 02, this was like the beginning of water cooling. Um, and personally, if I was gonna come back to it, I would go for less flow. I, I'm just noticing how the direction things have gone. I'm like, I'm not sure I agree with that because I was still testing things 20 years ago and I'm not sold on anything. You know, I, I, me personally, I believe we're all scientists. We all go out and we have beliefs and we enter the world to either prove or disprove our own beliefs so that's what i'm trying to do thank you i love you have a blessed day shout out to playstation sony you, you're making an awesome product this is a pc but better than a pc because you don't have the you don't have windows i think windows is what held the pc back god bless